let you know who we are and why we decided to start vlogging. Oh, she made these for me. All in my favorite colors. And it's very important to know there is a difference between a service animal and a support animal. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability, Ability Life. Life. done much today because we have been doing the boring planning routes of how to get from here to our holiday in hello missy would you like to close the door behind you we were just planning um our route from here to cumber sands camber camber sands um to pontins there where we're going on monday um for our sun holiday because of my physical needs, on a big trip like that, we like to try and plan to stop at a changing place. Changing places are a lot easier for us to manage than a disabled toilet. So... That's so I don't have to lift her. Well, not really lift her, but help, but help her control her fall. <laughs> 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 but it's still not good for my back, so I was like steering her fall. Changing places have hoists and changing beds and toilets and so changing places have everything we need to make our lives easier. Um, so we try when we go on long journeys to stop at places for changing places. So that's what we've been doing today is organizing the route. Now we're trying to make sure the places that we find are actually services, so it's, it's, we're not trying to go too far off the northern way and go out of our way, because that's make the trip even you know, more longer. So yeah, we will show you some clips of what we got up, you know, a couple of little things that happened today, but it really wasn't much. But we thought we'd take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit about ourselves, because we haven't actually done that yet let you know who we are and why we decided to start vlogging. I'm Stacy Covacini and I am 36 years old. I'm John, John Covacini and I am 37 at the moment. He's an old man. I am not old. <laughs> and he'll always be an old man because he's always going to be older than me. <laughs> We need a time turner. <laughs> Actually, I need a time turner. Some things that we like, maybe. Um, my favorite colors are blue and purple. Hello, Misty. And this is Misty. Yes, this is our baby boy. As you can really see him all that much in the camera, but... Misty is my service cat. And it's very important to know there is a difference between a service animal and a support animal. Service animal helps alert you to a medical problem. A support animal is somebody that do an animal that helps you with emotional support. Misty alerts me to seizures, therefore he is a service animal because he does a medical job. Hey yo. He's actually staying on you. Which is unusual, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on him because he might be about to tell us something. Mm. My favorite colours are blue and purple. And my favorite color is green. I really like yeah. Harry Potter and Disney stuff. I like trains, like Star Wars, like Star Trek. Stacy still gets confused. I definitely between those two. <laughs> there is no difference. There is a big difference. And you love computers. I love computers, but not as much as I love her. Mm -hmm. And don't feel offended because she doesn't understand between the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek. That might start a war in our comment section. 
and you can say what you like to try and explain it. I will never understand. That's something people have to accept with me. There are certain things I will never understand. <laughs> and my favorite food is chicken. My favorite food is salmon. Yay! Kiss your hand. Yay! <laughs> Still can't see it, but whatever. We apologize if the camera's being knocked about. Misty is playing with a catnip toy. <coughs> what else can we tell them about ourselves? Um, I was born in America. I was born in the UK. I've lived in the UK all my life. I've lived in the UK for... Two and a half years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Uh, we met originally on the internet. Um, we had a long distance relationship for over six years. Over seven. Over six. Over seven. Over six. Over seven. <laughs> seven is over six, silly goose. Well, still, it's still over seven. Because <coughs> we were engaged for six years. Right. Um, we will explain in another video about how we met and how John, how we got, you know, like the whole engagement and relationship from a distance and how you know, getting married and then finally John moving over to England and we'll explain all that in another video because it's too long-winded for, for this. Um, so other things, what do we like doing together? Exploring. Yeah, we love to explore. We love Ex going places. Especially gardens. Yeah, we love gardens. Gardens and nice scenery. Uh, we love beautiful scenery, don't we? No. And we really like going and finding piers. Yes. Well, I think I think we ha have an unofficial pier bucket list. We do. We have a mission to see every pier in the UK. The one I want to really see is the um, one that goes all, over a mile into the ocean. That would be amazing to see. And it's quite good because it means when we go on holiday we have very similar interests to what we want to do and it makes it really enjoyable because we want to do the same sort of things and that's nice so we do really enjoy going on holiday and we can't wait to take you guys along with us this time um, and believe it or not you have to bear in mind when we go on this holiday we only paid £42.50 for this holiday yeah. We really don't know what to expect. I'm very nervous about this. I've not been to Pontins before. Well, I did when I was able-bodied and a lot younger when I was a teenager. So I know things have changed a lot. I'm very, very nervous. But we've picked one close enough that if it's not okay, um, we can just come home. But. We've only paid £42.50, so we're not overly worried about, oh, we spent a lot of money on it or anything like that. I'm not worried about it because the reviews I've been reading about it are not good. But... We're going to give it a try. Yes. And see how we go. You know, worst comes the worst. We come home. That's the worst case scenario. We still get to see my sister on the Friday, even if we come home. Yes. What is our actual health conditions and disabilities? Okay, who has the book? <laughs> I have a long list and I probably am not going to read them all off here because we'll be here forever. So I'm just going to give you the basics. I have a degenerative neuromuscular disease. I have epilepsy. I have asthma. I have a hearing impairment. I have sight problems. I think I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have the lovely diabetes. Not lovely, but the fun of, di of diabetes I deal with. And I have arthritis and I'm between all my joints. And I have, from a um, car accident back in the state, I have some damage done to and in, in one of my um, ankles, 
I have some special shoes that help with my flat feet and also helps the, the shoes also help me roll my feet better so I don't so much pressure on the, the, my toes. One thing I think may be a good thing to bring up in this video and maybe a good appropriate time is I don't always look at the camera when I'm talking and this is not because I don't want to it's because I can't. Depending on my position I may have slipped in my chair or if we're sat on the sofa or sometimes you've seen us sat together on the floor and I cannot look directly at the camera that is because of my spine my spine is bent forwards and, twist and twisted so my, neck, my, my head sits slanted to the left and forwards so when I'm out of my wheelchair that corrects my sitting posture I don't have the ability to look forward at all very well easily it's very painful for me even in my chair it gets painful and tiring after a while so you'll quite often see I start not looking at the camera it's nothing personal it's to do with my physical disabilities and my pain levels at the time it's not I don't like you it really isn't don't take offense I just it's just part of my disabilities and part of who I am why did we start vlogging John's family live in America, my family live in the UK, but my family live quite far away from me in the UK. And I have my blood family, and I also have a foster family. I also, from my foster family, have family that live in Australia. I have friends that live in America, I have friends that live in Australia, I have friends that live all over the world. Um, and we felt it was easier. We'd started trying to blog with writing, blogging, and we found that very hard to put a picture across in words. And we thought, why not try putting it into pictures, letting people see everything instead of reading, because it gives a different view. But also, it brings John's family closer to us and us closer to them. It brings our friends closer. And also, you know, our biggest hope and our biggest wish is throughout all of this, we can reach out to other people in our situation. Yeah. The, the, the situation where, where Stacy would be disabled, me being her husband and being her carer, but an unpaid care at, on top of that, or other relationships, I guess, I guess my relationships where, where it's still a carer and someone disabled, making them aware, giving them a tip, making them aware that there's something outside the four walls of, the, of their home, that there is a world out there that you don't need to be sitting at home. We want to be able to show other people in our situation the, the problems that, that we've experienced, the, the, the solutions we come up with, the tips that we have, ways to overcome it. And just be able to make a community th through our vlogs where we're giving information to people and we make get information back from them, making a, a, a two-way system of just how to improve people's lives in a situation like ours. Our only hope is to be able, hopefully, to bring smiles and love to other people in a similar situation to us, with similar conditions to us, because John has his own health problems. We want to be able to help people find their own paths and just bring everybody together in a community where they can talk to each other and support each other through our vlogs being there to guide people. 
but we also want you to join our world and see the things we get up to and we will be highlighting everything from access issues to daily ups and downs you know we're just gonna take it and see where we go we just want to help everybody mm -hmm. so let's have a love let's have a bit more fun now I've, i'm bored of talking about us Let's have a look at some clips of a couple of little fun things that happened today. Um, yeah, have a look. I have actually slept, um, I started off in the lounge and then came and tried my new mattress out. Um, that was replaced because the other one was broken. And well, I'll let John show you the situation we find ourselves in right now. So it's beeping. We don't the, ever want to see this. The brand new pump and mattress is alarming. It's tired to tell me it's low pressure. Don't ever want to hear that sound and that beeping sound and you don't ever want to see that red. It's trying. It's trying to affect the bed. Well, I just checked the hoses and they seem alright, so I'm going to... I'm going to wait about 10 minutes, see if the mattress recovers. If not, we're calling them out again to say, uh, new issue, but brand new parts. Well, not brand new, but refurbished parts. So, we'll let you know. The chair is going to the dump. And Misty is not happy about it. <sighs> <laughs> if John can work out how to get it through the door, it's going to the dump. Careful. Say bye bye, chair, Misty. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, chair. Say bye bye, chair, Misty. You are not happy about this, are you? I'm sorry, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. You come to sit with mommy because you're soaking about the chair going. Is it cold out there, honey? You're fine, honey. Oh, yeah, I can feel the coldness now. It's got to be there for like a minute or two to get out the doorway. Oh, blimey. And now I'll put a coat on her. I just had the biggest surprise ever. One of my old carers um, who used to look after me, Chaos, just come to visit me and say hello and brought me some awesome gifts. And here she is. Say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she just brought me, um, I'll let you show them. Oh, she made these for me. All in my favorite colors. They're beautiful. Oh, and they run away. <laughs> they are absolutely beautiful. And just in time for our winter holiday. So this is absolutely awesome. And a beautiful jumper. And I think I must put the other one on the table too because you got another one there. Is it on the table? Oh, I must have dropped it as I got them up. And this one is can use as a scarf or a hat. So they're really, really cool. Thank you so much for them. I'm going to pack them and take them on my holiday. <laughs> I will put them just here. Now, nebulizers aren't just used for... I did say this earlier in a video that I've been working on for asthma awareness and my asthma in particular. And I did say that nebulizers are not just for asthmatics, that they are used for other conditions. However, there are other uses for nebulizers. John is demonstrating. They are great for blowing things up. Because obviously me being asthmatic, I can't blow balloons or anything like that up without really near enough passing out. And John just hates blowing things up. And right now he is blowing up my monkey hammer I love beating people up with my monkey hammer 
and we are getting it ready to go on holiday. And this is another use for your nebulizer. If you've got one, why not make use of it? Just grab, take the mask off the tube end and then stick that into the bit that you need to blow into. And it blows anything you want to blow up. Pretty awesome. It's clever. My nebulizer is really noisy at the moment because of where I have it. it depends where I have it to how noisy it decides to be. Cool. So now, my monkey hammer is ready and raring to go. Do I get to test it out now? Hey, no, I'm supposed to test it. I can't get it because I got a camera. <laughs> and this is what the hammer's for, beating my husband up. <laughs> Doesn't it look like John? <laughs> Mind you, now it's a monkey, he's a gorilla. It's got too much hair. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining us in our crazy world. world. Cue Misty. <laughs> <laughs>